Nasty, your lawyer is here. Thanks for coming down, Tom. Sorry to call you so late. No problem. I was kind of bored at home. Wife's never around. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say wife? Forgive me. Hmm. This is going to be strictly professional. All right, let's just get down to it. I plan on holding your client for 24 hours without pressing charges. Well, I've read the police report and Dusty's statement. The only evidence the police have are Dusty's fingerprints in the room where Miss Love was murdered. He has already admitted that he was there first after hearing the gunshots. You have no witnesses, no murder weapon, therefore, no case. Hmm, that may be. Unless there's more to the story that Dusty isn't telling us. Don't have enough evidence to make a murder charge stick. Not yet, but I do plan on keeping Dusty here until I find out what it is he's holding back. What, you think he's gonna get bored and confess to a crime he didn't commit? <laughs> no, but I've just got a hunch that he's not so innocent. Well, you can't put him behind bars because you have a hunch. Come on, just between you and me, you and me, don't you think there's more to the story than Dusty's letting on? Client lawyer privilege supersedes our relationship. So much better when you were the DA and we were fighting on the same side. You know, you're a good cop, you're a terrific person, and you always do the right thing. Well, Dusty, you have the best lawyer in the state. I will draw up the paperwork and you're free to go. Don't you dare collect. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate your help. Uh, open and shut case, Dusty. They don't have enough evidence to hold you, so... No smoking gun, right? Got a minute? It's important. Sure, me too. I think we may have some uh, critical evidence in the Lakeview uh, murder case. Someone want to explain this? It's my fault. No, it isn't. Lily, it's my fault. Everything in this statement right here. It's a lie. And seeing the gun, George, you're never. Huh? Here's the truth. Okay. Cherie wanted to meet me. I went to her room, and she gave me a drink that was drugged. I passed out on the floor. And when I woke up, Cherie was lying next to me with a bullet in her chest. And my gun was lying next to her. I have no idea how it got there. How did Holden and Lily get the gun? It wasn't Holden. It was me. I took the gun from the crime scene and I gave it to Lily just before I gave it my statement. It was my idea. All right, I'm going to get statements from all of you, but first things first. Harrison, I need you to take this gun down to the lab and see if it's been fired recently. Get back to me ASAP with the ballistics report. You, got it, you two had better hope that that is not the gun that was used to kill that woman. Taking the gun from the scene, dumb move, Dusty. I know. Getting Lily involved, even dumber. You're right. Not telling your lawyer the dumbest of all. Now, unless you want me to stop representing you right now, you swear to me you're not hiding anything else. What I said out there was the truth. Well, let's hope it's not too little too late. I want you to read over the statements and then sign them. Margo, be straight with us. How bad is this? Oh, it's bad. But the fact that you insisted that Lily bring the gun in immediately is good. The fact that you took the gun in the first place, do you realize how many crimes you may have committed? So what kind of charges are we looking at here? Evidence tampering, obstruction of justice, and if it does turn out that that gun is the one that killed Miss Love, then you're going to be facing accessory to a murder after the fact. Oh, God help me. Well, I don't think we need to go to the Lord quite yet. The fact that you knew you made a mistake and you corrected it immediately will count for you. And I will emphasize that with the DA. Thank you. All right, we appreciate all your help. Can I take her home? Yeah, um, just a second. Hughes. Yeah, would you bring her right up? Thank you. Lily, you can go, but don't leave town. I am so sorry, Dusty. It's not your fault. Next time. My wife offers to commit a crime for you. Do me a favor and just say no. Please don't. Come on, come on. I'm taking you home. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got a positive ID on the bullet that was removed from the murder victim. It came from Dusty's gun. 
Dusty Donovan, you are under arrest for the murder of Cherie Love. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you by the state. Do you understand? 